<laughs> so, uh, I'm a spoken word artist, which is a very pretentious word for a poet, basically. I write my own, all my own poetry, and I'm not going to lie. Some of it's rude, some of it's dirty, some of it's disturbing. I categorise it as sex, drugs, rock and roll, and tofu. And that's pretty much <laughs> like, that I can describe it. So, my first one, a few weeks ago it was Gay Pride, and I was out every night and every day. My bank account suffered greatly, but my love life didn't, so that was good. So, <laughs> and, um... On the Saturday night, I was in this arena, we were all dancing. Got Kwan was DJing, Got Kwan's a DJ as well as a fashion person, apparently. And uh, there was this gorgeous guy, he was like a Greek god, and everyone wanted him, and I was the one that got him, so I was like this to everyone. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> so this is called My Night at Pride. As the sky explodes with light, as the music fills me with delight, on this magical night, as the beautiful boy wraps his arms around me, as his lips envelop me. The music keeps flowing, and everyone is still raving. What a weekend this has been. The glitter sparkles, everyone marvels. I am intoxicated. I feel liberated. The beautiful boy has me enchanted. Rainbows deck the air, people dance away without a care. I'm lost in a swirl of colour and lost. I feel like I could combust. This is pride where I no longer have to hide. I can dance the night away. I can be open about being gay. A glass of wine in my hand. Hello. <laughs> Dancing away, I feel grand. This turned out better than I planned. I don't want this weekend to end. I don't want the daylight to transcend. But it is coming to a close. Back to normality. Back to the mundane. But I will never forget that magical night when the beautiful boy held me so tight. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.